Yo, what's going on people? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a minute since I've made a video, uh, since well, since a good few months actually. But today uh, it's coming up for oil filter change on the VXR, so we're going to be doing that. I'll show you what oil I've got, filter and all the other bits and pieces and then we'll go through it. It's really cold, it's really shit weather, but it's got to be done. Uh, I normally do it every 5,000 miles and the cars just hit 60,000 miles a few days ago so uh, it's due another change I'd like to do it sort of every 5,000 miles just to be on the safe side because they have a lot of problems so but yeah we'll get into it now and uh... right, so as you can see cars all on stands up ready so all good to go now this is the uh, oil I'm going to be using um, because it's not a forged engine or uh, anything like that I'll just go with shell so I'll show you that now so as you can see shell helux helix ultra whatever you call it professional uh, AG and also uh, shout out to I ordered it from Euro car parts and shout out to Euro car parts for fucking up my order because they sent me sent me this it's a complete wrong oil filter so I had to go to Halfords and pick up the proper oil filter so it's not the best but it'll have to do for the next 5,000 miles or so so yeah that's the oil that's it also as well Thanks to uh, Euros fucking up my order, uh, I don't have a sump plug to put in as well. I ordered a new sump plug and that didn't come either. So it's not good to, really you should change the sump plug or uh, replace the little rubber like o-ring things uh, that go onto the uh, actual sump plug. Um, but I'm just going to have to check mine, hopefully it's all good and there's no splits and then I'll just have to reuse that one until I service it next time. Hope just hope for the best mm. so yeah. with the car just show you underneath you can see up there there's your oil filter and then you've got your sump there so for your sump plug you're gonna want one of these which is a uh, T45 Torx bit for the sump plug and then for the oil filter put it the right way is a 24 mil 20 24 mil socket so we'll get started on that Can't get out. And as soon as I started, it's now pissing it down with rain, so we better crack on. Just draining the, took the oil filter out, just draining that into the pot now. Uh, so just to give you a comparison, this is the oil filter that came out. So as you can see, obviously, it's uh, looking a bit worse for wear. And then this, is the brand new one that's going in now on here if you're able to see it like a little rubber rubber seal that goes around you take that off and obviously replace that with the new one when you do it yeah I'm going to change the oil and now the weather looks like this I don't know if you'll be able to hear me it's so windy but uh, hopefully it's not too bad yeah, floor is now soaking wet where I'm laying. Just got the uh, oil filter out there. I'm just about to uh, drain the oil from the side of it. And uh, I'll go back to you in a minute. Right, so uh, I've undone the sump plug and the oil's just draining out there. So I've just got to wait for that to drain. Oh, that's good. Right, so as your there's <clears throat> your sump plug. It's 
a little bit bad, but I've checked the seal and everything, and uh, it looks all good. So what we'll do is we'll do this now. Change this, plug this back in. I couldn't find a screwdriver, so I was looking around for ages. So I just I just cut it there and start again. But yeah, basically this slides off of here. And clean it up a little bit. Uh, this is the new one, so that will go back on here. But before you do it, so a little bit of oil on there, just to lube it up a little bit, just so the rubber doesn't go dry and hard. Put that back on. I'm sure there are tools you can get for this to make life 10 times easier but I don't have it so yeah there you go new seal on there so that's done oil everywhere Oof. right so and here got the oil it's drained off there into the pan so I put the uh, new sump in, new uh, new sump, not new sump plug. Like I say, I put the old sump plug back in, and then I'll get back to you when we're filling the oil back up. Old oil, all drained. That is a uh, pretty black old oil filter and O ring out. I'll show you under here. So where your uh, oil filter is um, every time you change it just try to like clean around here and all the areas that can get oil drips on like where the exhaust is and stuff like that because um, when you put the oil in you let the car run and you'll be able to see if there's any leaks come from anywhere and the same with the sump plug as well just tighten it up and then uh, clean around it so when you put your oil in start up you'll be able to check for leaks so this boy off here pop that up there now I don't have a funnel but I did make this which is just as good so it does a job. So these take four and a half litres of oil. So just put your oil in there. Oil's in, I've checked the level and uh, that looks fine. So we'll start it up and uh, let it run for about 20 seconds Yeah, so we'll just leave that running for 20 seconds or so, uh, see how it is, check the level again, make sure it's all good, and then uh, that'll be job done. So Go down, check the oil level, let it run, check there's no leaks as well, uh, there's no leaks, it's all running good. So yeah, success in the shit weather. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone notices, but uh, since the last video I've got some new parts. So I've got new lights, redone my wheels, new rear lights too. But what I'll do is um, when it's obviously daylight and everything, I'll, I'll do another whole another video of all of the like new parts and everything that I've got. 
So that's it we've done for today. If you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not a qualified mechanic, so if I've done anything wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, it's another set oil and filter change done for another 5,000 miles. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.